Hello everybody, today's tutorial is all about loops and how they work in Taskgate Automations. We're going to break it down step by step so you can see exactly how to use loops to save time on repetitive tasks. So, what is a loop? A loop lets you run a set of actions for each item in a list automatically. It's an advanced automation feature that processes your data step by step, doing the same thing for every item in your list without you having to lift a finger after setup. Let me explain with an example. Imagine you work in HR and you're sending onboarding emails to a bunch of new hires. You've got a table with rows filled with their names, email addresses, maybe even a personal message for each person. Now obviously, you don't want to sit there sending every single email manually, right? So, here's where loops come in. Instead of repeating yourself, you set up a loop and Taskgate goes, cool, I'll run this automation once for each row. Each row then becomes its own mini run of the workflow. You can configure the loop to send customized emails to everyone. It all runs automatically, one setup with multiple results. No copy pasting, no repeated steps, just clean, scalable automation. So whether you're sending 10 onboarding emails, following up with 30 support tickets, or logging a set of client requests, loops let you handle all of it in one go. When should you use a loop? Loops are great when you have a list or table of items like rows in Google Sheets or notes in the Taskgate project. You want to perform the same action on each one, like send a message, create a task, or update something. And of course, you want to avoid doing it manually one by one. So right now, I'm going to walk you through how you can actually save time using the example we just talked about, sending onboarding emails using a loop. For this tutorial, I want to show you that Taskgate works seamlessly with Google Sheets. So I've used Google Sheets to set up this very simple table. As you can see, this table has six new hires we want to email. Each row includes their name, email, position, start date, department, their manager, and a custom welcome message. Now let's say you want to send each person a personalized onboarding email. Something like, hey Alina, welcome to the team, or Hey Daniel, we're excited to have you join HR. Normally without a loop, you'd have to build separate email actions, one for each person, and it's just a pain. But with loops, you set it up once and Taskgate runs the email step automatically for each person in the list. Now, if you're noticing the blue rows in the sheet, uh, these are just the examples that I'll be sending to myself just so I can show you the actual results at the end. This way, you can see exactly what the loop did and how the emails came through to each person. Okay, next, this is the Taskgate project that I've set up for this tutorial. Something super simple with two main blocks, sent and emails to send. Moving on to where the magic happens, the automation step. You can access your automations by hitting on automations on the column on the very left, and you'll see all your automations. When you open this page, don't panic. What you see here is the end result, and it really isn't that intimidating once you know what you want to do. Uh, in this case, what you want to do is send emails. So first, let's go over the trigger. As you know from the last tutorial, your trigger could be many things, but for this use case, I'm going to use task completed. I use the trigger task completed because every time I strike off a task in my project, HR onboarding tracker in the blocks email to send, I want something to happen. Second, let's talk about the action. Now I've connected my account to Google Sheets beforehand, but you should be able to do so quite easily as well. After a task has been marked as complete, I want Taskit to find rows in the Sheets document you saw earlier. In this exact spreadsheet called Loops Tutorial, in the Sheet, new hire email, and return all the matching rows as an array. Next, what do we want Taskit to do with all that information? We want it to be processed individually, so we insert the loop function. Now inside the loop function, we can just select the list parameter to be linked to variable, and the variable to be array of matching rows. So imagine now your task gate. What this means is that for every row, I want you to process information individually, and once you reach the end of the loop, process the second row and the third, and so on. Now let's continue the flow. At this point of time, you get to decide how your information is being processed for a single cycle. Since we're sending emails, I've used the Ask AI function. But if you want to insert your custom AI agent trained with your company's guidelines or tone of voice, you can do so as well. Now let's go over the prompt. I've written something very simple, but I want to show you something and how to link the information from above. So what we can do is hit the plus icon and select the respective column. Name with name, position with position, start date, with start date, department with department, manager with manager, 
and welcome message with welcome message. And if you feel lost at this point of time and wondering, how did I get all this information? Well, to refresh your memory, this information exists in our Google Sheets document that we created earlier. As you can see, name, email, position, start date, department manager, and welcome message. And the best way to think about this is that the prompt will run individually for each row that we have here. So the next step is to send the email. So this step is pretty straightforward. You just have to input data respectively. Who do we send the email to? Well, it depends. It depends on the email of the person. And the best part about this is that you can still use the data extracted from the step in the beginning. And in this case, I've used email here. When we scroll further down, we can even select a custom subject. In this case, I'm just going to change it to welcome. And I'm going to add that the body is the most important part of the email. And in this case, I've used the Ask AI result. Why? Because you want the output from Ask AI to go into your email. And that's pretty much it in our automation flow. Now, you can just hit save changes. So now we can go back to the project. Once I mark our task as done, it should trigger the automation and send a custom email for every single person. So now let's see what the output looks like. So here's the first email. Hi, that's my name. We're excited to welcome you as our new marketing executive in the marketing department. That's my official start date and my manager and warm regards to the HR team. On the other hand, we've also sent an email to Mr. Frank Castle. We're excited to welcome him as our new Chief Justice of Snacks the security department and the manager is Nick Fury of course and here's a customized message at the very bottom of the email. Before I end the video, here are some tips I want to share. You're not limited to emails. Luke can create tasks, update project notes, send Slack, WhatsApp messages, post on social media, you name it. Inside a loop, you can stack multiple actions. So for each row, you could send an email, then create a task, then update your project all in one go. But just because you can stack a bunch of steps doesn't mean your flow should be long. It's best to keep your automation flows short and to the point. Why? Because shorter flows are easier to maintain, easier to troubleshoot, and less likely to break. Here's a bonus for you. I've also set up a free kit so you can tweak the automation to fit your workflow and save even more time. I'll leave a link to the kit with the prompt in the description below. You have now reached the end of the tutorial and it's time to put what you've learned into practice. Give it a go, spend half an hour setting up and see how much time it saves you. If you learned something from this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in Taskade. Bye-bye.